Hello guys. Today I would like to show you quite interesting oscilloscope. This is a very old device made by a German company called Serute and the model number is over there. And as you can see there is nothing interesting on the on the front panel got our time base, we've got the, the voltage to both the X and Y, we've got our adjustment and the only interesting thing is that button which is used for recharging the built-in battery. I'm pretty sure it's not, not working and as you can see there is an information that that button is going to use the net and you can cut the, the power between the internal battery and I'm not sure if that was designed for a portable operation or that was designed to be able to isolate your oscilloscope from the device under the test because when you are, are doing the measurement and your oscilloscope and your probe which is looking like that one the ground lead is going connected to the main earth of your wiring and if you accidentally do a measurement across that ground clip and when it go shorted to the hot wire on your device under test you are going to blow up and make a short circuit so you have to be extra careful and when you've got an oscilloscope that is completely isolated from the mains you can probe everywhere and you are only limited by the voltage across that two pins so you don't have to be worried when you are making a AC measurement and let's see the bottom the back as you can see it quite international it allows you to operate on the US and Europe you can set the proper voltage also over here you've got information about the cell inside and there is external 12 volt and I believe under that flap we are going to find our cell of course it's not missing because I don't know. Let's see what's inside. Do we have an SL? It looks like it should be rechargeable if it is. And the cell is missing, which is okay because. That's so old device, and there is no problem. I can see on the back we've got the two pins that are probably connecting to the battery that you are plugging inside. Okay, I'm going to put the plate back and we are going to connect it to the to the mains AC and we are going to try to get some measurement. As you can see it has a very nice stand over there and you can get a very nice picture. First of all I'm going to turn it on. I think I'm going to kill some of the lightning to get a picture and we can see a line. We are going to able to adjust it. I'm going to make it glow a little bit more in the vertical and the horizontal and first of all let's try to to grab the built-in signal generator and the test is over there that triangle that one is a I'm pretty sure it's just a grounding uh, our input and we've got some kind of signal and let's check the voltage is quite good. We've got a, a one division. 
let's change the time base and in that direction and we've got our our measurement as you can as you can see that one is probably a DC coupling if we want to get rid of the DC offset we can add the capacitor that's what I think let's try to input a signal from the external generator I'm going to use reference from my scope and I'm connected but we cannot see anything let's see I'm not on the times one probe okay times one Let's get down the, the voltage. We can see something, but it's too fast. And that's supposed to be a one megahertz. So it doesn't look quite nice. We've got the auto on the triggering, I believe, which is okay but I don't like that the measurement is not looking good oh now it's looking a little bit better I think the, the connector is quite loose that should be a square let's check the 10 kilohertz I believe we are right now on the 10 kilohertz and it's looking looking a little bit better that one might be a triggering yes let's put it a little bit on the top so I believe it do not have a very good bandwidth because on the 1 megahertz it's change the time base and it's not looking that great but maybe there is a different impedance because we don't know what kind of the input is maybe the capacitance of the probe is different so I'm not sure because that's a, a very old device this built-in signal it's looking quite good so that may be a fault of the of the probe not matching so yes that's just a, a very quick video I just would like to show you the internal battery which I found interesting and thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye